When country music fans first heard the song Red Light, there was no question a unique and powerful voice had entered the format, a voice belonging to David Nail. Anytime people say, you know, hey David, you're a great singer or whatever, obviously it's very flattering, but, you know, I tell them that I would just be an ordinary singer if I was singing ordinary songs. I feel like that picking songs that you can identify with and that you can, uh, that maybe you've experienced, you know, uh, it makes it so much easier to, to, to have like that motion, you know. People complain all the time, like, David, you sing the whole entire song with your eyes closed. And I said, well, that's because I was there, you know, and, and I'm wanting to put you there. It keeps me turning a Grammy nomination for his performance of the song Turning Home and more accolades accompanied the debut, an album that was nine years in the making and followed a long road to maturity. I looked at my wife and I said, baby, people like what I do. And it was, it seems very, you know, cliche and, and kind of cheesy, but that's how I felt, you know, to, to, for, for people to, to, to respect what you do. and. When you put so much energy and heart and soul into it, it's the ultimate feeling. Especially when the road to acknowledgement included many bouts with self-induced potholes. I think it's more amazement that I got the opportunity to make another record, you know, to be honest with you. It's hard to David's applauded voice gets new wings on his second album, The Sound of a Million Dreams. So with this record, it was like, okay, now you kind of know who I am but do you really? I love all sorts of kind of music and, and from, one, from one day to the next, uh, my tastes vary. Uh, and so I felt like that, that people kind of saw one side of me. Now I wanted to kind of give you the whole thing. And so thus, you know, a title, The Sound of a Man Dreams, is more or less just um, me saying, hey, um, I'm, I'm a little bit more versatile than maybe you, you, you thought on the first record and, and, and here's my attempt at showing that. Beginning with the cinematic tune Let It Rain and with songs spanning blues, rock, and pure traditional country, David approached his sophomore album from the vantage point of his fans. It was definitely a priority for me to sit down and really, you know, every time I would listen to a song or songs that I even wrote, you know, it's how does this translate live? David got the honor of hitting one of the world's biggest stages when he sang during the seventh inning stretch of Game 7 of the World Series. His beloved home state St. Louis Cardinals had stretched the series to the limit. Nail had little doubt of the outcome. Obviously, I'm biased being from Missouri and having several friendships in that organization, but you talk about the ultimate underdog story. I mean, no, nobody in the world a, a month and a half ago expected them to be here. We beat the Phillies. The best record in baseball. We beat the Brewers, who had the most home runs in the, in, in, in the either league. You don't sleep. You don't sleep on the show me state, you know? Yeah,